Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. If this is your first time on my channel, I am a full-time college student and full-time content creator at the moment. I am majoring in computer science and for today's video, we are doing a what's in my backpack. A lot of you guys requested this after you saw my backpack, especially in my first day of classes vlog, which I will link down below. I got the cutest backpack for back to school. It looks like this. I'm going to be linking it down below for you guys and let's go ahead and get into what is in my backpack for the semester so i'm just gonna put my backpack right here on my little shelf um and this is not gonna go in any particular order because let me be real i kind of put things in the way that they kind of make sense to me but there's not like an order yeah it is definitely organized but it's organized in my own way if that even makes any sense so let's go ahead and get started so I'm going to start off by mentioning that I am a digital person like I do not like to do a lot of paper uh, my major as I mentioned is in computer science so most things are on the computer um, but I still only use my iPad and like my computer for pretty much everything school related just everything is online now everything is like through a blackboard kind of a structure or a canvas if you're familiar with university I used to do blackboard at my community college our university uses canvas so if you're familiar with any of those yes everything is pretty much through online everything is submitted through online so there's absolutely no paper oh my gosh no paper there's no reason to have much paper the only class I use paper in is my C programming class because our instructor hands out all of the lecture notes and paper but I still go and download cats are like trying to escape I put them in the other room because they just they like to make a lot of noise and I wanted to film this in peace over there if you hear if you hear that that's the cats but anyway um yeah he hands out the lecture notes and paper so I have like a folder where I keep all of that but I don't actually follow along with that I just keep them just in case because I go and download all of the lecture notes on canvas and then I just import them into my good notes and take notes that way I'll get into more note taking type of stuff if you guys want in a different video I do have my school iPad this is my iPad Air I have an iPad Air and a mini I use the Air for school because this does not have cellular data da la la la. <laughs> this doesn't have cellular data Data. so it's very easy for me to just do my work with no distractions on this and like take notes and things like that so yeah I have my iPad Air it is in rose gold um, this is what it looks like and you guys have seen this a million times if you have been watching my channel since last fall um, this is the iPad I've used for school since then so yes I have an iPad Air and for my note taking I use good notes I import my textbooks to it and everything so I can like highlight things and take notes on my digital textbooks but I do pretty much everything digitally so yes the only thing that I will use a journal for is if I have a math class I don't have any math classes this semester so I don't have any notebooks this semester so all I'm using is my iPad so that brings us to my next piece of tech that I carry this is my MacBook Pro. I got this case off of Amazon. If you guys didn't notice, my MacBook Air does not have a case. The case was just so dirty and nasty. Like, I've had the same one for like over a year now. So, I ordered some off of Shein, surprisingly. And those, I don't know when they come in. So, they didn't come in in time for this video. But I'm sure I will show you guys in another vlog, like, what cases I got from my iPad. But yeah, that brings me to my MacBook. And I do use my MacBook for class a lot now because. Again, computer science major, you need a laptop for that. You code a lot of things, like in different coding languages. And so you need a laptop to code. You cannot technically code on an iPad. So yes, I have been using my MacBook Pro not only for YouTube now, but also for school, which I'm so glad I got this MacBook for that. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but one of my main goals for like why I'm going for this degree is I want to really learn how to develop mobile applications and my main goal is to develop like iOS applications kind of why I chose my MacBook as my coding laptop because I do have my pink MSI my pink uh, Windows laptop that you guys love and I still use that laptop for like browsing I used it a lot for school last semester um, like the last two semesters when I was finishing my business degree and I loved using it for that because like Blackboard, Lockdown Browser, like all of that stuff just ran way better on it than like my Mac because 
my community college uses Windows a lot. Um, but for coding, I definitely just wanted to switch over to Apple. I definitely wanted to learn how to code on an Apple device just, you know, for the iOS thing that I just mentioned. Although I know you can code like iOS apps on Windows as well, but I just feel like you jump through extra steps when it comes to using a Windows to make like iOS apps. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it would be better, easier, and that's what I did. I'm showing you guys everything in this main compartment because... Um, I kind of just want to show you everything that's in this main compartment first and then we'll get into the smaller compartment. So I did bring two of these really cute folders. You guys saw these on my back to school shopping video I'm sure. I got these from Target. Um, this, the pink one's empty um, because our Java instructor does not give us any paperwork to be honest. Um, but this one does have all of my lecture notes for my C programming class which I can show you but you guys are gonna be like what on earth that's like Chinese because coding is honestly very intimidating like it's all a, it's basically like learning a language so it's a lot but I already know how to code in a few languages well I mainly know how to web design so yeah or web develop like I know how to code PHP CSS HTML a little bit of JavaScript um, but yeah coding can be intimidating because it's gibberish if you don't know what you're looking at. Uh, iPad mini, I don't always carry this. I will throw this in there if I have like work to do because this is what I use for like my work emails and things. It's actually dead right now. But yeah, I do have my iPad mini in there as well, which is also the pink one. Next we have this little juicy couture pouch and in this I just honestly keep feminine products because you just you never know, so there's feminine products in that. I have a hairbrush. This is a tangle teaser. I have very, very, very extremely tangly hair, and it gets very windy in Texas, and so honestly, if you don't carry a hairbrush in your purse, have one in your car, like you just need a hairbrush at all times in West Texas with this wind, especially if you have a fine hair like me, you know, you just kind of have tangly hair like I do, so I always have a hairbrush. Okay, the very last thing I keep in that big compartment, like the larger compartment of my backpack, is this little Victoria's Secret tech bag. I will be linking this down below. This is my latest Victoria's Secret purchase. I got this just for school and technology type things, but I use it as a pencil pouch to store memory cards, my chargers. Like, let me just open it so you guys can see. But yeah, this is like extremely handy. It's so organized. Like, it has all of these compartments, all of these like things what do you even call these i don't know like elastics and it has like a place right here this is where i keep my um pink calculator i didn't know if i would be needing this because i know some coding involves math but um i haven't needed it yet i don't i honestly don't think i'm gonna need it <laughs> honestly i've been looking at like i've been learning a lot of things about coding like in advance like taking crash courses and stuff so that i'm not falling behind because coding is difficult and so yeah it doesn't look like i'm gonna be needing the calculator but i haven't taken it out i just keep it in there but more than likely i will probably put it away because i don't think i'm gonna need it for the semester but i also have my apple pencil or pen not sure and of course i have a bunch of memory cards in here and then i do keep my student id in this this is just like my keep all bag that's what i like to call it like i keep everything in here and then we do have like teachers that like to take attendance on papers so um and obviously like paper lecture notes so in case there's anything that i do want to circle or not forget about or like i just want to go back to and the instructor the instructor is going a little bit fast and i just have the paper lecture note right next to me or something um, I do keep pens and like a highlighter just in case just in case I need it So I have my sharpie s gel pens, which you guys know I love I have this really cute pen with a diamond. I have a pink highlighter um, And well, I guess I have two of those sharpie s gel pens. They're amazing if you guys have never used the sharpie s gel pens You need them. They are the best pens Especially for note taking, it's like so satisfying how they write. Yeah, that's everything that's in my Victoria's Secret thing. And yes, I do keep the pencils in the front pouch so they're easy access. Have this little zipper compartment at the top of my backpack here. 
and in here I have allergy medicine <laughs> what do you know <laughs> I have a mirror compact and I have a little lotion from Bath and Body Works this is in pink velvet cupcake it's just a little hand cream and then this little compact it's like pink and glittery this is from the cheap barbie collection when i got my barbie curling iron there's also a compartment in here i'm just gonna put my hand in there so you can see what i'm talking about and this is where i like to slide my keys in that's all i keep in there just my car keys and this is my keychain this is from victoria's secret obviously side pockets and a lot of the time i have my starbucks cup in one of these side pockets or like a water bottle you get the point it takes a little bit of work to get this in there but usually i do have that in there and then it does have one on the other side and on the other side i keep some more little things that you sometimes just like need throughout the day especially on a university campus like deodorant this is like a mini little baby dove cucumber deodorant that i use and then i have hand sanitizer because none of us have forgotten i don't think that germs are important because viruses so yes i have my hand sanitizer at all times this is the um coconut one fresh coconut from victoria's secret pink and i love the spray ones because they're just not sticky and like they don't make your hands all wet and then you don't have to really worry about it spilling all over your bag or anything so yes that is what that is what i have so that was everything that's in my backpack for the semester this might change throughout the semester because i've literally been in class like one week so i don't know if there's anything else that i'm gonna need once like assignments start getting serious I highly doubt it because it's a coding class so it like everything's really literally like just online like not online but on the computer like all of the assignments are coding assignments so we use softwares for that we save files on the computer I may need to get a flash drive that's one thing I've kind of considered grabbing um, but I know we do submit most things through like canvas like I mentioned so I don't know if I will need that but I'm just rambling now. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you stayed until the end, leave me this emoji right here. Alright, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.